Hi, today I want to talk about how to follow up after a job interview. And this is a hot topic because it's, I think it's got to be the number one complaint I've heard from candidates. No feedback after an interview, after they send their resume. So I want to give them some feedback, but also uh, a little, you know, shout out to hiring managers that this is a big complaint. Even if you have bad news, at least give the news. So candidates. How do you follow up? So first the thing is check the job advertisement. Does it say that we will follow up with only candidates who have been selected? Um, check that because sometimes they do indicate how you will be followed up with an email, uh, you'll be called. So assume that if you're not called after you send, send your resume that there's no interest in your candidacy. Unfortunately, that is the way it is for many, many companies. Second thing is you, get the, you got the interview and now you want to make sure you follow up. So get this business card. Uh, make sure you have the contact information. So you're going to first send an email, reiterating your interest, thanking them for the time that they spent. And you can also, in that email, ask one question. Make it short and sweet about what to expect. You can also ask that question in person. So what should I expect as the next step and when? Now, you've got the answer. Now, let's say the deadline has come and gone. Give a grace period. Give a 24-hour 24, 24 grace period before you follow up. Leave a message. Can I just tell you that everyone has caller ID. So there are some notorious candidates that call and call and call and call and don't leave a message. We know who you are. Leave a message. I understand your frustration that sometimes candidates, uh, clients, and hiring managers don't call back. But don't be that person that calls six, seven times in a row and doesn't leave a message because they're not going to call you back anyway. So just leave one message, clear, short, sweet, get to the point. And check your tone so you're annoyed because someone hasn't gotten back to you. But make sure that you continue in that positive and give somebody a little door, an opening, Perhaps you're on vacation. I left you a message last week or four days ago. Um, I'm following up based on our interview. Don't get defensive and you're back out. So here are some tips. Hopefully they help you. I know that it's frustrating not getting feedback, but keep a positive tone and keep at it. And remember, the next employer should not have to pay for the last one who didn't give you any feedback. I'm Don Williams from Serious Personnel. I can be reached on LinkedIn and on Twitter. Happy selling.